Hello again, uh, it's my third video, and I uh, just want to show you some new stuff that's been released for the iPod Touch. So as you notice first, I have a spiffy new uh, Belkin case. Um, got it as a Christmas present from my uncle, and uh, very, very nice. And also I have a screen protector on there, you probably can't see it because it's so clear. So, yep, uh, let's, let's browse around, shall we? Okay, so I have some new stuff to show you. First of all, um, one of the biggest improvements of the iPod Touch so far is the uh, VOIP, which, if you don't, if you're not familiar with it, it's, it's Voice Over Internet Protocol. And basically, what this allows you to do is make phone calls over the internet if you're connected to a Wi-Fi spot, which I am, and. Uh, as of now, since there's no microphone on the iPod Touch, you have to either make your own, which you can uh, if you go to iPodTouchFans.com, there's a tutorial, or you can wait, and uh, uh, iPod Touch Mods is coming out with one that you can pre-order and buy from them. So that's going to be cool, and uh, you have to go to website, register, and that's for the SIP, uh, which is your like service provider for your internet calling. But I've tried it, I've called my number, and you can hear the person on the other line, you just can't talk to them. So if that goes any farther, it's going to be a really big deal for anyone who owns an iPod Touch, and for people who don't have AT&T, like me, in uh, their states or in their country. So uh, yeah, the next thing I want to show you is uh, something fun. Uh, it's a slots game, and it's really, it's picture perfect, in fact, uh, and right now I have 115 coins, and I can put in three and bet, and let's see, oh, ooh, not bad, although I didn't get any, let's try again, ooh, nice, okay, well, I'm just gonna stop now and not ever gamble again, so... <laughs> Um, you can see I have a Doom icon right there, and some people have got Doom working, I have not, uh, I guess it's a iPod specific thing, something about the doom.wad file or something like that. Um, next thing I want to show you is, it's called Evolution RGB, and basically it's that program like Sand that I showed you, except it's been, like, modified and perfected for the iPod Touch. And down here you have options, so you can choose, and you have fire, plant, water, clay, smelter, seed, cloud, and eraser. And say so if you make a cloud here, you can see it's a little gray, and then it rains blue, which is water. And then, let's say, if we put a, uh, a plant at the bottom, uh, let's see, water makes plant grow, so if you put, some, put a plant there, ooh, looks like it's absorbing all the water, and as water comes down to it, it grows higher and higher and then we can light that on fire if we really want to like this oh go like that and the fire spreads and destroys all the plant unfortunately so that program's really cool and also if you have a certain thing say i wanted to save this like save this like image and then come back to it later i can save this state and then come back to it and uh reload it from there. So that's really cool. Uh, another big thing is called OpenTTD, which uh, our really good friend uh, ZODTTD has released. Um, it's an open source tycoon kind of game, like uh, Roller Coaster Tycoon or um, all those other ones. And you probably can't see much, but it's running at full speed. And uh, it's got a new game, uh, Generate. And it just is a full fun fully functional uh, tycoon game and you can go around and look at all your cities and trees and ooh a oh, farm look at that it is kind of hard to control because it's you can you can control the cursor you can uh, but it's really those really tiny icons are hard to use in my huge fat fingers so hopefully there'll be some kind of changes there um, next, I want to show you, uh, oh yeah, I might as well show you this. Um, if you're a fan of Go, the um, really strategic board game, uh, this is a program that just is like it, made by the same person who made chess. 
Um, I, I'm bad at it. So if anyone knows how to play, then you, you'll have fun with this. But I, I don't because I suck. So um, I'm wondering if there's anything else I can show you right now. Um, no updates so far from iPhysics from uh, 0.9.8. Uh, GPS phone has, a, has, has had an update. And um, I don't really know if it's any faster, but as of now, I can't really tell the difference between if it's too fast or like if it's running at full speed. Here's my Kirby game. Uh, right as you load a game, it gets a little uh, choppy, as you can see. It's but now, yeah, now it runs flawlessly and everything's fine. I can draw. Okay, so. One thing I have noticed is that it takes a while for the button at the top to register, but it does eventually, so that's good. Um, yeah, that's basically all I have. Oh wait, one more thing that you will very much enjoy. Um, this is another emulator by uh, ZOD TTD. This is a PlayStation 1 emulator, and you're probably thinking, whoa, uh, I don't believe this. PlayStation 1 wouldn't be able to run on an iPod Touch. It's it's way too complicated. Well, actually, the processor speed of a PlayStation 1 is a lot less than this of an iPod Touch. And um, it just so happens that ZOTD, ZOTTD has the programming knowledge to make it work. And he's working with the Dynarac and all the ARM code processing and stuff. I don't know what I'm talking about, but it sounds complicated. So, basically, it... Most games run pretty well right now. I'm going to start up Worms Armageddon. Uh, as you can see, it's not full screen yet. But if it was, the controller scheme would be really... You'd have the thumbs everywhere. And as of now... Um, let's just let it load for a second. Oh, you can see that. Um, Worms Armageddon is what I'm playing right now uh, that I actually own on the PlayStation 1. Or PSX, as they like to call it. Uh, I actually own... and. It, this is the best running game on this so far that I have. Um, supposedly, Final Fantasy VII works pretty well. Not really sure. Um, you can see no options found. Uh, let's see. Yeah. It looks choppy on the camera, and that's because it is choppy. Although it's a lot more choppy than usual. Um, yeah, it shouldn't be this choppy, but... As you can see, it's running. This isn't a fake video. I, I don't have the Photoshop video skills to put that in. So, um, yeah, that's real. And um, let's see. Let's just give it a minute to go back to the menu. 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 There we go. No. Okay, that's about it. Um, I don't... Oh, I might as well show you this. This is just a fun little program that uh, I have. Oh, it's called Real Artist, and uh, it's just kind of a fun little thing where you can modify an image if you just kind of drag around, and you can squeeze it, and you can like make it all funky, and push it to the middle, and yeah, you can just kind of squeeze it around. And that's just fun, fun use of the random code people like to use. And oh, whoa, I don't know about oh, that's cool. I wrote this in. Ske the sketch program and looks like a scrunched up piece of paper. Okay, well, thank you for watching. Uh, this has been a pretty long video, but hopefully you've stayed in tune for most of it. Um, catch me next time when I have more updates for the iPod Touch. Um, and uh, a lot of people have been asking me about ROMs for the. Uh, Game Boy Advance emulator, and you will be asking me for ROMs about the PlayStation emulator. Um, I cannot tell you websites to get them from. Uh, I've had countless messages and comments about uh, where can I get them. I can't tell you, so don't ask me. Uh, all I can tell you is that Google is your friend, and if you can't find one on Google, uh, then something's wrong. Uh, and remember, don't download ROMs if you don't own them. Uh, that's illegal. Uh, so, yeah. Illegal is bad. Very bad. Well, I have basically no time left on the video, so thanks for watching and goodbye.